Hey gang, uh, so jumping on here today and uh, today's topic is three strategies uh, to reduce foot pain. Even when you feel like you've tried everything, uh, because we hear that all the time, I've tried everything. Um, but most of the time we haven't. We've just tried all the norm that we hear out there. Um, so the first one um, is get out of our shoes as much as possible. Um, so they're great for during the day to protect our feet in whatever job that we have. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also great to get out of them so our feet, our feet are meant to be mobile and move. And when we keep them constricted for a large portion of the day, um, they become very immobile, very constricted, and that can cause a lot of pain. Um, you know, and we hear, oh, I can't go without my shoes. I have to wear my shoes all the time. Um, but if we, you know, if we're not in our shoes, what is supporting our foot? Um, so we have to be able to strengthen and support our foot on its own so it can protect, it, it can, you know, take us through our day. It has to be able to be strong too. So, you know, the shoe just kind of holds it in a place and, you know, you might have um, some support, some arch support and stuff like that that's helping um, helping support it. So I'm going to say support it. Um, it doesn't actually stretch the foot and it doesn't actually strengthen the foot, mm -hmm. uh, which are two which will take us into our others. Do you have anything before that? <clears throat> well, if you think about it, it helps support our foot. But so does a cast, so does a boot, so does crutches. That's support. But does that actually create, that gives you time to heal. But then those, that, those apparatuses go away because what happens? You heal and then you go back into like therapy, strengthening exercises, and things to get you back to where you no longer need crutches, you no longer need boots. You no no longer need those things for support because you're healed or you're back to where you need to be at. So you don't rely on them the rest of your life. So why would you need to have shoes for the, your entire life support you when actually your foot should be the thing that's supporting you on a daily basis? Shoes have their purpose, but is it beyond the purpose? Are we using them beyond the purpose that they're supposed to be used for? So then we'll go into the second one. So second, because we're wearing shoes or doing things that constrict our feet, um, stretching and releasing, doing release techniques on our feet is very important to start getting that space that's needed back into the foot so that they're able to spread like they're supposed to. Um, releasing the tight, ten tense tissue and allowing the proprioception that we're supposed to have in the base of our feet. Um, you know, if we think about it, our between our foot and our ankle is over 25% of all the bones in our body. Um, so that tells me that those bones are supposed to be able to, to move, right? And then on top of that, we have 7,000 proprioceptors, and that's what tells us where we're at in space and time. So if we have something, you know, talking about the foot, the shoe again, if we have a foot or shoe on it all the time, we lose that proprioceptive ability. So doing stretching and release techniques helps get that back and also helps release anything that's uh, tensioned up because it's been held in place in a certain place the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have to think about it too. If if your foot is uh, bound up and 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 whatever apparatus you're using, I may call it that. Um, you know, there's things that uh, the fa fascia that runs through your foot. There's the the bones. There's the the muscles and tendons that run through the bones of your of your and through your feet. And you think about it, that goes all the way across your big toe to your fifth toe. So you have all that that runs through there. If all that is restricted up into the arch and everything. I'm using, this is like uh, like packaging paper here. And if that is like gnarled up and it's like this in your foot somehow and twisted, um, that's gonna affect the fun function of your foot. So really that should be smooth, smooth through your foot this way. But if it's twisted and wrapped up that way, uh, that's the hydration's not there in your feet, it's brittle. Um, the function of your ankle, um, how the bones will move and rotate, and how all that function is, is going to be hindered. 
So, um, you know, you think about, you know, like bubble wrap around your feet, <laughs> right? So if it's all twisted up and gnarled, some of them are bloated up, some of them are popped and twisted, then you're, it's going to affect the mobility and how you use your feet. Susan, I see your question. I'll answer that right at the very end. Um, and some of this might explain that too. Um, so number three is strengthening our feet. Uh, so that they can support us because that's part of why we have all those muscles and tendons and ligaments. And part of strengthening our feet is getting out and moving around on uneven ground without, you know, uneven surface without any protection over them. Um, and then doing strengthening exercises to start bringing that strength back in. You know, sometimes as we age, because we've supported, supported our feet so much with things they lose that ability to support themselves so strengthening exercises are super important to strengthen the foot mm -hmm. and that doesn't always mean you know an actual strengthening exercise moving around on in our bare feet on various different terrain is strengthening exercise of course we're not talking about walking on glass shards and <laughs> And sharp rocks and hot lava and all the all these hot coals and stuff. We're not talking about that at all. So, um, you know, it's just getting the sensory. We're touching like what is what is walking through grass feel like to your feet or in the in dirt. You know, in in terrain that that's you know not going to harm your foot, but it's actually going to give a that grounding effect and that that feedback. Your your feet, your body craves that. So if we're if we always got a barrier between it, then it's it's blocking off what our feet really should be connecting to. Sounds good. So, yeah, so that might answer part of your question on the um, babies and shoes, Susan. Um, we allowed our daughter to go as much as she could without shoes mm -hmm. when she was little. And, um, you know, of course, if she was gonna be somewhere that that she needed a protection over the base of her foot, we would have that, but she had a very soft sole uh, shoe to where she could still fill her foot. Mm -hmm. um, and if you notice, a lot of like baby shoes do have that soft sole, which is pretty much what, when they first came out with shoes, what shoes were, were just a leather covering over to cut, to protect our feet from, from the elements. Mm -hmm. And then over time, they've become something totally different yeah. which has its purpose for certain things sure. um you know not saying that they're not totally needed but you know yeah. they have a they have a purpose um I'll and it's just making sure you know that they're the right type of shoe i'll just tell my story real quick i was i was working not too long ago this was numerous months back um, i was loading concrete cinder blocks and pavers and stuff into a vehicle into a truck and I just got distracted just for just a brief moment and one of those pavers slipped off and come down and hit hit my foot and I was like I as soon as it hit I jerked my leg out but by then it luckily if I didn't move my foot it would have damaged maybe a little worse but luckily I reacted by pulling my foot out but it already hit it and I was wearing a boot so I was wearing a work boot so it's not like we don't it's not like we walk around barefoot going into Lowe's and yeah, Ace Hardware, places like that. I mean, we do wear, whenever I'm working in somewhere that's, you know, foreign or maybe picking things up, you know, granted, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to be wearing something protective. But based I'm, on the job. Based on the job. That Bingo, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> is that, you know, so it protected my foot. If I would have been barefoot or flip flops, it would have split my, I would have been probably emergency room. Um, it it would have shattered my foot or something worse. So um, shoes had necessity to the job that they're, important for so but not, not meant to live but in. not meant to live in <laughs> yeah yeah bingo <laughs> yes so we'll wrap it up for today um but um i'll actually also put a link in the bottom so if you have a question um on your feet specifically we are doing um free we call them foot freedom strategy uh calls so if you want to get in on one of those, we'll put the link in and you can schedule that and you get to talk with both of us on, um, you know, your questions on your feet. And um, we'll give you a couple of strategies um, to go with that. 
So uh, thanks for joining us today. I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. See you guys.